Well, this Friday, July 31st, 2015, there's going to be an occurrence called, uh, what we call the Blue Moon. And it's the moon is not going to look any different at all. It's just an expression, but it's actually a rare occurrence. Uh, it only happens about every two and a half years, depending on how you measure it. But it's because we have um, the cycles of the moon are a little bit different than the actual 30-day calendar period. And what happens is that there's two full moons within a calendar period. But there are instances where a moon can actually turn blue or appear to turn blue. And that is due to like forest fires, volcanic ash in the, in the sky. Um, and sometimes that has a very eerie appearance. I know there's been stories recently in uh, Southern California that the moon had a halo around it. I'm thinking, well, that's not that unusual, but... Uh, you know, it's being reported on some of the media here, the local media, I guess, in uh, California uh, through social media, that is. But uh, if you look at a moon and you see a blue moon, um, that is not necessarily, you know, a hard bringer of things to come. It could just be because of chemtrails for all I know. But uh, blue moon is actually an expression that is based on science and the science is that there's two full moons in a month. So this only occurs every two and a half years. Now, is that something to do with the Illuminati? I don't know. Who knows? But blue is actually... Now, you would think, you know, when you're talking about the color blue, the color blue, you would think, is associated with males. And the color red would be associated with females. Actually, it's the other way around. And, um, you know, it might have to do with the absorption of color and actually what we see. But they've actually shown where, and I had this on another video, where they took um, mice and they exposed them to like a pinkish reddish light and that produced all males and they tried the same thing with the litters with bluish light and that produced all females. But blue actually has a sedating effect on the body. Um, it's something psych in psychology that you know there is an influence on the psyche where um, colors will influence your mood and also blue has been noted to uh, affect and enhance the penile gland because it's that's the chakra that blue is associated with believe it or not so if you actually see a blue moon for real sometime and it's due to chemtrails or it's due to volcanic ash or it's due to a forest fire off in the distance well, you might want to stare up at it because you know what that could do is affect your penile gland. So instead of having the stimulating effect of the yellow moon, with yellow is a stimulating effect, if you're actually staring at a blue moon, a blue moon, you'll have a sedating effect. Now, the French even have an expression. Uh, it's called le hair bleu, or blue hour, referring to the hour experienced between daylight and darkness. A time revered for its quality of light and also when the scent of flowers is at its strongest. Now, I guess the scent of flowers is not as strongest, but I guess maybe the effect of the psyche of blue on the mind is causing a sedating effect, which is heightening your senses. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that works, but that is a French exp expression. But blue moon is actually something that has something based in, in science. Although the moon is not going to appear blue this Friday, unless you're in an area of extra chemtrails, then maybe it might appear blue. Who knows? You know, really, it just might. But, uh, you know, there's, it's it's kind of interesting that a lot of times we see these expressions, and you don't hear the song Blue Moon, you hear the movies about Blue Moon, you hear... Uh, Various, you know, you always hear one expression once in a blue moon, but you you see so many different things that are titled blue moon. Um, it actually is something that is based in nature. Um, it's something that um, is very uncommon, and you know, people I've uh, you know seen times though when it, when it's actually looked and appeared to have this bluish color. Uh, it has that sedating effect, and it's also the um, north seeking negative energy which is uh bio north that's another thing associated with the color blue now also interesting too the complementary color for blue is red now we see that on our flag red white and blue right red white and blue actually with the two primary colors red and blue but actually blue would represent female and red would represent male 
which goes along with the Chinese yin and yang. It's something that you know you would not expect. You would think it's the exact opposite, but I think the real reason behind that is because when we see blue, it's the only color that's not being absorbed. It's actually it's the color of the light spectrum that is reflecting back to us. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with this blue moon on Friday, but uh, there could be a lot of speculation, as you know, uh, because uh, as uh, as always, you know, think people do make mountains out of molehills. But I do find it an interesting point because we actually only see. Well, it depends on how you measure it, but measured, let's say, the proper way, um, a blue moon will only occur every two and a half years. You could say it occurs um, every quarter in a different way, but actually a true blue moon actually only occurs every two and a half years, and it's not going to occur again till 2018. So... Anyway, that's the time, but you might want to think of it, if you think of it as a blue moon, you might think of it as a special time, and a time where you can actually put some of your spells on people and whatever you want to do. So this Friday, this weekend, might be very special, because it's a two and a half year, at once in every two and a half year event, that is going to have the true blue moon. The true blue moon. Not appearing blue, but maybe in Southern California, though, with a little bit of uh, you know, extra CO2 emissions over L.A., you might have the blue moon over there, but maybe not quite everywhere. But it might appear that way in Southern California. But if you actually see that blue tint uh, on it, it might be a time for a little bit of more inspiration. Uh, a little more time where blue w awakens your penile gland and a time where it has a sedating effect and heightens the senses. So hopefully in Southern California you might actually see a real blue moon besides the actual scientific blue moon. So uh, this Friday, this Friday, July 31st, 2015, a once every two and a half year occurrence.